Hello everybody and thank you for joining me for another watercolor tutorial. Today's painting is inspired by Art by Cinch, which I will give credit to in the description if you want to check out their beautiful artwork. Uh, so let's get right into it. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is take something circular, either a lid or um, you know, a cup or something that is the size of the circle that you want and just trace a perfect circle using a pencil onto your watercolor piece of paper. Then you want to start um, filling in that circle. Um, so we're just starting with the background here. We're creating a very, very, very light um, background. At least the bottom portion will be very light and very gradually you increase into a darker blue. So the very top portion of your sky is going to be this really dark dramatic blue color but the rest of it is almost going to stay white. Um, so just make sure that you don't bring your dark blue down too far um, because it'll sort of detract from the look that we are going for. So you might have to paint on several layers. I think I did three or four layers and I even mixed some black into my blue just to um, speed up the process so I wouldn't have to keep painting more and more layers on. Um, and then you can even dab some black, not even mixed in with the blue, just at the very top. And if you're doing the wet on wet technique, then it will naturally just fade into the blue and create this dramatic look. The thing that you want to keep in mind, what kind of makes this painting extra special, I suppose, is not filling in the entire circle. So you're filling in the bottom, but the sky should not reach the top of the circle. You want to make it sort of um, jaggedy at the top to mimic clouds. So once your background is completely dry and you're satisfied with your dramatic gradient, you want to start painting on the clouds of your um, sky. So you're going to be using the same blue that you used for the sky, but you're not going to mix any black into it. And you want to make the top portion of your clouds um, a little bit more dark. So you can apply quite a bit of pigment at the top and then use a brush that's just dipped into water to spread out that color to form the rest of the cloud. Uh, and again, this will make it look like there is um, light coming from the bottom and that the top of the clouds are a little bit darker than um, the bottom portion. You can add some more clouds going further down, um, closer to the horizon, but you just want to make sure that those clouds are very light so they don't have a dark portion, they just stay a very light consistency throughout and even some of the, the ones that are closest to, to the horizon, you want them to actually almost even be white or the same color as the horizon. So once that has completely dried and you are happy with your clouds, you want to start painting on the mountain. So I really like the contrast between this magenta color and blue. So I chose to paint my mountains this, this magenta color, but you can choose to paint them whatever color you have. Any color will make this, this painting really look dramatic. It's just completely up to you and what your preference is. I'm not going to get too much into the details of how to paint mountains because um, it's sort of a difficult process to explain in a quick uh, time lapse, but I am probably going to make some sort of tutorial on different techniques to paint mountains. Um, since my pine tree tutorial was very, very popular, um, actually I believe it's one of my most views most viewed videos on this channel, so I might do something similar with mountains. So just let me know in the description if that is something that you're interested in. But once you are finished with your mountains, you can start painting on your um, pine tree shadows in the bottom third of your painting. So you're just following the bottom outline of your circle, uh, painting in some very rough looking pine trees. These don't have to be crazy detailed. You can just, you know, basically paint a line going upwards and then some zigzags back and forth. And once you are completely finished that, you can sprinkle on some watered down white acrylic paint to mimic stars, uh, erase that top portion of your circle, and you are all finished. 
Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in next week's tutorial.